So there was an officer in San Diego. Here, I'll just play the video. I, you, you don't even need to read the breakdown. I'll just show you the video real quick. Alright, sir, step out of the vehicle for me. Going on my car right here, okay? This is kind of it. Oh, wait, this isn't. Wrong video. This isn't the one that has the subtitles, so you can't really hear it super well. Sorry, hold on. I gave you a hearing test. Is it Prime Sama? Right here. This is the one that has the subtitles. Wait, no, it's the same video. Wait, did, I thought they started earlier. No, yeah, this is this is the right one. My bad. I misremembered. I thought the subtitles started from Jump, but I guess not. Yeah. Well, you're not. Well, I can't hear you now. Mm, five good to remember. Thanks, Co. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Don't say that right now. I said don't say that right now, because uh, everything's being recorded right now. So this opened my eyes to a problem that I talked about a lot. That cops have full control over when they can stop recording something. So he mentions right there, this woman's like, I'm super down to fuck. And Anthony, he's getting, he's pitching a tent. He's like, oh, 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 yeah. And he's like, wait, wait, don't say anything, because this is still recording right now. He hasn't had a chance to turn it off. But he does. He does get that chance. What's going on? So then he takes her down here and then... They... They slam him. And he gets locked in the back seat of the car. So he pulls over here, he and this woman... They, they do the hanky-panky in the back seat of the police cruiser. And Goober's stuck. So then another officer gets to the scene to free him. In front of a house. Yeah, that was another thing. The place he pulls in front of is just a fucking house. Like, imagine, like, you see the police car pull up, you're like, oh god, what's happening out here? And then you see this officer fucking in the back seat of the, 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 the car here. Like, he didn't even go anywhere secluded or anything. He literally just slabs up in front of this house. What if it's her house? No, I don't think it was. I, I, he literally just pulled down a side street and then turns off his body cam. And yeah, I had that pulled up in another tab for the, uh, the trailer. I also just learned a little, uh... I guess a little hack here for police cars. You can open the back of the I back door with that. That's a little trick. Isn't that fucking awful? Let me, wait, 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 before you confess to all of the awful shit you just did right here, let me turn off my camera. So that way there's no uh, evidence. You turned off your camera, right? Okay, good, good, just making sure. That's so, that's so dumb. If you can just turn it off whenever, it's so fucking stupid. Typically it was like, oh, the camera malfunctioned, but here it's just like, wait, let me turn this off. Like, what's the point? He's a membership, Brett. No, he, he got fired. Or resigned or whatever. So that, there's that's something, I guess. <laughs> His claim is that he was just checking on her and that everything went wrong. You can see him like saying like everything just went wrong. I was just being such a, a gentle sir. I went back there to make sure everything was okay. You know, I was. I'm a, I moonlight as a gynecologist, and she was having a medical emergency with throbbing pussy syndrome, and I went back there and. Uh, 
one thing leads to another, I'm stuck in the back seat. And now you're probably getting the wrong idea about what happened here. It was totally professional. The semen was there earlier from a different suspect. You should have seen this, this fucking maniac. This degenerate was jerking off in the back seat and fucking blowing loads all over the place. It's not my semen. And if you can trace it to me, it's because... It, 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 it's because you got some of my hair. You got some of my DNA. Oh, he was looking for contraband. <laughs> so true. Keeping the streets safe. <laughs> I was back there purely to make sure there were no drugs. She obviously planted the evidence on his belt. <laughs> A Just Cause movie? Really? Interesting. I wonder how often this happens. Probably more often than you'd think, I guess. I would guess. You remember, I actually made a video on this one like a year ago. There was a <laughs> there was a cop who slabbed up in front of a school. I think it was a high school and had a woman come into the come into his uh, police cruiser so they could fucking clap cheeks so that way they could steam ham together in the back seat of his police cruiser in front of the school and then he would kick her out. So they were like having an affair, and they do it in front of a school. So it probably happens a lot. I have not seen that hunter. I'll take a peek though. It sounds cool. I don't know what's going on with that suck. I'm unfamiliar. Have you seen Valve's new game? Yeah, I have. In general, is it illegal to have sex in a car? Uh, that's a really good question. I'm gonna Google it. Because I think it would count as, like, public indecency or something, right? Wouldn't it, if you got caught? But, like, you can have sex in a car in your garage or something. Like, if it's on private property and not in public. Like, I think you just have to be out of view of the public. Generally, it is illegal to have sex in public if a reasonable person believes that someone will see them. Therefore, if you do not have reasonable expectation of privacy and you decide to have sex in your car, you could be brought up on criminal charges. Yeah. So you can if it's not in public view. So somewhere private. Which makes sense. Makes a membership perky. Though I like the idea that there's just a blanket illegality to it. Like, having sex in a car will have you in jail no matter where you do it. So, like, you, you park your car in your garage. You, you fuck your wife or whatever. And then all of a sudden the sirens are blaring. Like, get the fuck out! Get off the ground! We know what you just did here! You're going to the slammer! Having sex in a car! Have you no decency? If you fuck in your car in the garage, do you leave it running? Educational question. I guess it depends on how long you last. If you're a one-pump chump, you could probably get away with leaving your car on, but if you actually go for a while, like maybe there's a carbon monoxide risk, potentially. I uh, guess it depends on how long you do it. I would say you'd probably want to turn your car off just to be safe. You could at least leave the, uh, uh, the electrical on and have the air blowing. Probably don't need the whole car on. Thanks for some fluffy. The membership Logan and twice. True test. You hear about Eminem's new project. No, is it a new album or something completely different? Uh. I don't know about that, Neo. And yeah, I have seen those Wolfen. We just watched the new Destiny trailer, yeah? If you die mid-nut, will the semen that comes out still be viable? I don't see why not. It's not like the semen are reliant on you being alive. Like, if they get busted out, they're gonna be just fine. 